Hey everybody, welcome back to Journey of a Single Mom. It's Rebecca here. Today we're talking about the art of letting go. I consider myself an artist. I went to art school, I love to create, as is evident by what you are currently watching. One of the actual definitions of art in the dictionary is the expression or application of creativity in human imagination. That's why I am calling this the art of letting go. It truly is an art form. It is your creativity, your imagination, your expression coming out in your own life. So at this stage in my life, I've had to do quite a bit of letting go lately. I have been choosing to let go of expectations, my expectations and society's expectations on me, how I'm supposed to live my life, what I'm supposed to do, how I'm supposed to look, what I'm supposed to say, where I'm supposed to go. I've also had to let go of some things that are unseen. Also letting go of my own fears, learning to trust myself. Probably one of the biggest and most complete changes is that I'm having to let go of children. My second daughter went away to college, the first one to actually go far, far away. Um, she's only five hours away, but it feels far, far away. So let me have that one. It was really difficult to pack up her room and see it all empty and drive her there and drive back without her. That was some of the hardest letting go I've ever had to do. I've also been letting go of my physical possessions over the past few years, getting rid of more and more and letting go of my old habits of shopping, of buying mindlessly and needlessly. And while letting go is usually very difficult to do, it's been totally worth it. I have learned that the freedom that comes with letting go and letting things be just can't be compared. For some reason, we have this natural inclination as humans to hold on to things both physical and mental, we just will not let things go. Let it go, let it go. Now I'm gonna have that freaking song stuck in my head all day. I personally don't think we were meant to carry as much as we do. I guess what I'm really talking about is just the mentality of it. Because the physical objects themselves, the only reason that holding on to so many things is not good for you is because of the mental space it takes up. Sometimes we focus on our things and gaining more and getting more and keeping up with the Joneses, whoever they are, so that those things take up all that space and we don't have to deal with the mental stuff that we really don't want to deal with. But here's what I've learned. By letting go of all of the pressure to do what society says you're supposed to do, live how you're supposed to live, have what you're supposed to have, by letting go of the hurt and past trauma, by letting go of anything that holds you back and doesn't serve you, you leave room. The process of letting go can be messy, but it turns into something beautiful, just like art. If you're gonna go make a painting right now, or a piece of pottery, or if you're going to do a dance performance, it's gonna be messy first. You're gonna have paint everywhere, you're gonna have clay everywhere, you're not gonna know the steps, you're gonna be falling, you're gonna be sweaty, you're gonna be gross, you're gonna be in your whatever clothes that aren't pretty and sparkly. But when it's all said and done, you come out with something beautiful. It's a process, and it's not always fun, and it's not always pretty, but at the end, it's so rewarding. And that is why I titled this The Art of Letting Go. Because this has been a process, it has been messy, and I've had to learn. I mean, you're not gonna be Van Gogh or Rembrandt the second you pick up a paintbrush. But I've learned along the way, I've practiced, I've gotten better, and now I can more easily make beautiful out of the mess. The problem is when we have a bunch of stuff cluttering up, our houses, our minds, our emotions. There's no room for anything new. There's no room for new growth. 
human mind likes its ruts. It likes its patterns. It does not want to change easily. Change in this life is inevitable. Sometimes the letting go isn't letting go of something bad. Sometimes it's letting go of something good. Sometimes it means realizing that what you wanted, what you were working towards, what you had, isn't what's in the cards for you right now. I have had to recently let go of my dream of nomadic living in my van Wanda, who I've been working on for a year and a half, and it was difficult. It has been a process for me to let go of that dream that I was working so hard towards. And that will happen in the future, if I still want it in the future, in order to invite something else in, in order for there to be growth. You've got to let some stuff go. We all do. I'm definitely not an expert at the art of letting go, but that's kind of one of the beautiful things about it. Just like art, everyone can do it. Art is subjective. What works for one person or what one person thinks is beautiful may not be so for the other person. The same with letting go. You get to decide what stays in your life, what stays in your head, what stays in your home, what habits stay, and which ones go. So wherever you are, start today. Where I am right now, I'm starting today too, because it just keeps going. I'm so glad that you've all decided to join me on this journey, and I would love for you to leave in the comments if you're practicing the art of letting go. Let me know what you've let go of, any tips or tricks for all of us to learn from. While letting go is wonderful, I don't want to let go of any of you. So please hit the like and subscribe buttons with the notification bell so you can be notified of the rest of this journey. And let's go on it together. All right, I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.